In Washington, ghost-like objects dart across the radar screen at the CAA Traffic Control Center at National Airport for several hours, traveling more than 100 miles an hour. Air Force jet fighters spend several hours chasing the objects plotted on the radar scope. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, I used to target practice in the sand and gravel pits and mountains around Sultan, Washington. Back in the summer of 82, I was target practicing one day and had an unusual encounter. I scoped in on the movement and saw what looked like a large, hairy humanoid. Darker than I could see the up. Calmly watching me. At first, I thought someone put up a cardboard cutout up there and I scoped it out to see what I was actually seeing. While I was looking at it through my scope at a range of about 75 to 100 feet away, it blinked. And my first thought, it's a goddamn Bigfoot. You have to remember, in this part of the country, we're all familiar with stories of sightings and encounters with this creature. I even remembered at the time that someone told me that there was a million dollar bounty on one of these things. And I decided, Maybe I should cash in on that. But instead of pulling the trigger, I stared for maybe 35 seconds or so and then put the rifle down. It seemed as though I had tunnel vision and I continued to watch this thing until it stepped backwards into the trees and vanished. Then I grabbed my rifle and ran for the spot that it had been standing in. When I got there, I started looking for some kind of evidence. Nothing. No footprints, no hair, no funny smells, no evidence of any type. I searched for about 20 or 30 minutes. Now, I measured a tree standing next to where the Sasquatch had been, and I had to hold the rifle by the butt and extend my arms as high as I could to reach the point on the tree that had been next to the head of the creature. And it was eight feet tall, give or take an inch. I double checked the measurement with tape I had back in the car. I always keep tools in the trunk. After I realized what I almost did, I got scared. What if I'd shot the creature? What if it had attacked? A little voice inside my head told me that I'd been really, really lucky. That aside from the sighting itself, the entire incident had unfolded peacefully. But shit, I decided to leave and headed straight back to Seattle. As for what happened that day, there's really no way to spin it. Bigfoot exists. I had a face-to-face -face encounter with one. And if that's what it takes to make you accept the reality of these creatures, you're better off thinking that it's all just a myth. <laughs>